Man, it really is a good day, isn't it? Hello, gents. It seems you guys had a lot to say about my last video and not a lot of good things to say at that. And a lot of you guys may be expecting me to backpedal on what I said, but this is a capitalist society, baby. The money never stops. Today's victim, Esam. Oh, pal, buddy, Esam. After getting multiple videos made on you, you'd think you'd like tone your personality down a bit, right? Wrong. This community is so boring, bro. Bro, I was literally just mid-recording and then I had to stop and reply to some of the comments on my latest video. <laughs> but yeah, before I start talking about eSAM, make sure to join my Discord, guys, and friend me on Discord as well. That's where I do a lot of my talking. And you know what? Make sure to drop a comment as well, because I would love to see you guys' debate in my comments. Oh, I feel like eSAM just speaking like this. Okay, so everyone might be thinking, what's the dealio with eSAM? And if I'm being honest, it's not much. It's just something he does from time to time that's kind of really annoying. This is also kind of just a filler video because I have a bigger project that's coming up regarding Armadillo and his pedophile accusations. So yeah, stay tuned for that, boys. Esam is so thirsty to stay relevant. This may be ironic considering that I just started talking in the Super Smash Brothers scene. My only relevance is the fact that I have 2,000 subscribers. I don't make money off of Smash, and I'm not gonna make money off of Smash for a minute, but I'm trying to, you know? I, I gotta make my money somehow. Can't be doing this for free, look at this economy. Despite me saying all of this, I know all the comments are gonna be like, relevancy? You were one to talk about relevant, you just joined the community. Even though I just pointed that out literally like a minute ago, but okay. And that's another thing about relevance. I find it funny that people point this out, like they didn't just watch multiple of my videos back to back. You know, that, that's, that's another thing. Esam's fall to irrelevance is kind of nutty. He was always a top player, but that doesn't mean much in today's climate because a bunch of random players from Japan can just pull up and become top players out of nowhere. So, you know, that's not really a title that you can hold on to when that happens quite frequently. No, no, his real fall off is his social media. That's a fall off that needs to be studied. Even greater than MK Leo's competitive fall off. That's nutty. If you take a peep at Esam's channel, you can kind of tell it's not doing too well. These are not good channel views. Eh. For someone with nearly 200,000 subscribers, you'd think you'd be able to pull a little bit more views. After all, you are the number one Pikachu player in the world, according to yourself, right? Shiny Mark's top 10 in the US playing Pikachu? No, he's not. Cap, cap. Esam, every single time you want to gather up a few more thousand views than normal, you always talk about top players. It's literally your go-to. In fact, nearly every single one of your recent videos has been on a top player, but it seems even that's not working. You're so desperate to keep your foot in the community that you'll go to any lengths to keep it there, including taking spotlight that's not yours. Sparkle had just won the biggest tournament in the world of this year. Shoot, maybe the biggest tournament Smash has ever seen, and here you are trying to claim all of it. If you're so good of a player, why don't you make a video about your own run? You got 65th. You lost to the buzz, the person who said he's going to go back to Street Fighter 6 because he lost to the number one player in the world, and Icy Mist. And I don't know, I like, I don't even know who that is. Now, I could give less of a shit that you're losing all these tournaments. I don't care. But it comes into play because it's such a, it's such an easy layup, you feel me? Your relevance is dwindling as a top player yourself. So you have to do anything, anything to stay relevant in this community. And it's not like you can rely on your YouTube because, well, you see how that's working out. Spargo listened to and implemented a lot of advice given to him by me, Chase, and others. Good job, he deserves it. Smiley face! Cornball. Now that alone by itself kind of makes the situation pretty bad. But what comes after that is what makes this so much more funnier. According to this comment, it was Mewtwo King who did most of the work with Spargo, not you. And he didn't even try to claim any of the credit. Spargo won the tournament, Mewtwo King congratulated him, and went about his business. But instead, you try to cling on to relevance by putting your name alongside Spargo's. Why? It's his moment, you have nothing to do with it, and quite frankly, no one asked. You have nothing of value to add to the community, so you just do all this horsing around to, to you know, kind of seem like you're doing something, when in reality, a lot of people have already said what you said, just a lot better. Asimo and Yoshidora, they're both so fast. <sighs> this is a splendid set. Oh, okay. There's commentators on that set. Like, shut up, bro. You don't add anything to the table. Who is this guy? Get him out of here. My Roy over ages propaganda is looking mighty strong right now. Okay. What does this have to do with you? Spargo's win with Roy makes your Roy seem better. 
Like, come on, dog. What are you doing? You can't be this irrelevant. So to be straight up with you, you serve no purpose in this community and should probably get back to your YouTube days. Maybe you can uh, bring back your, your glory times where you're actually pulling some viewers. So right now, it looks like you're an outsider peeping into the community that you once loved. And it's kind of embarrassing. Uh, but that's it for today's video. Um, it was just a quick rant about Isam because I'd never really liked that guy. He kind of looks like he'd fondle my children. Egghead looking at Um, The armadillo video is coming. That is guaranteed. I am working on that. Everyone who's telling me not to make it, shut up. I'm making it anyway. Hashtag LOLXD. Let my foul. Uh, join my Discord. Peace. That'd be pretty swag delicious. See y'all in the next one.